but as you make the burn, as it gets closer to zero, as your relative inclination gets closer to zero, this starts to quickly shift. It swings up very rapidly to this point, halfway point, and if you keep burning, it'll go the other direction. And that happens very rapidly once you get to near zero. The analogy that I kind of think of in my own mind is that it's almost like having a compass in your hand while standing on top of the north magnetic pole or while walking toward the north magnetic pole. As you get over top of the north magnetic pole, the compass just starts spinning because, you know, it doesn't basically know which direction to point anymore. But it's actually okay that it does that because the very fact that it is spinning tells you exactly where you are. You know you're at the pole because otherwise it wouldn't be spinning. So the odd thing here that we're going to do is we're going to make a change so that this white line starts to spin and it might seem like an odd goal like why do I just want to add plane change until this just starts spinning and if you kind of use that compass analogy because once this starts spinning then we know that that is our target is our target amount of plane change and it probably won't take too much so let me just go to fine and as I click on it this way even try some medium. I can see the that white line going that way. And if I reset it, and try to go the other way, see how quickly it spins? So that tells me that this is the better direction. This is the direction I want because it spins rapidly at this point. In other words, I'm standing on top of the pole and it's spinning around, so that's the direction I want. And I just want to lay that down so that it's straight across the middle. So let me do a little bit of plane change, or uh, change the sensitivity, and I'm gonna go with it just like that. So now my hypothetical orbit has me coming around basically touching the orbital altitude of the ISS and again this may change it may require yet another uh, mid course correction a little bit later on and I've got my plane change needle basically spinning at this point let me do one other thing because I've spent a little bit of time setting this up my time is now uh, was that about 30 or 40 seconds or so ahead of this so I just want to reset the time just to make sure that nothing is changed and everything is still how I want so I'm gonna go ahead and do this burn now even though it tells me the time's passed but because of the fact that I'm quite a ways out you know the time it doesn't it doesn't have to be the quite that accurate if I wanted to if I really wanted to I could simply go to hyper setting here and move this forward to say, you know, 66. And now I got a countdown. I can burn when that hits zero, but it really doesn't make any difference. Rotation. getting the green X lined up. Over 
here you can see our relative inclination getting a little better. And if I had orbit MFD up, you would also see our periapsis getting more closer to where I wanted. Translation. Now that's basically zero delta V close enough. Once you get down to those microbursts, it really isn't making a whole lot of difference at that point. So now I'm going to go over to view maneuver and turn off maneuver mode. And that's it for that mid course correction. So everything's looking pretty good. I've got the aligned plane MFD reporting that my relative inclination is less than one degree and that's going to get even better on the next mid-course correction. We're going to do two mid-course corrections. The first one, that was the first one, and the next one will be done when we get to the point where Earth's gravity is uh, the primary influence, but more specifically when we are at the next node and that's 273,000 seconds away that's this more specific time as to when we're going to do the next mid-course correction and the next mid-course correction is primarily just going to be to bring this relative inclination the rest of the way down to zero or as close to it as we can possibly get so I'm just looking at some things here current periapsis is 328. We'll see if that holds. It probably will slip a little bit. But the next thing, just again, I'm going to fast forward time, use time acceleration just to get to the next node. And we can also, using TransX, know that about when that's going to happen because this line will start to rotate around. And when it's about, when it's almost lined up to here, with this green line, which is our current uh, position, I guess you would say, then that will be the same time as the aligned plane MFD will be telling us that we are at the next node. So those are just two things that we can look at. Some fast forwarding time. See, this is coming down and this is getting closer to the green. Let me check the orbit MFD to see how. Okay, that's fine. Oh, obviously our relative inclination is going up. That's okay. We'll take care of it at this at this passage here. But the previous maneuver, the previous burn that we did, got us in the correct position so that we could make this next burn. At least that's how I understand it. Okay, let me check orbit MFD again. Pretty good periapsis still. And we're coming up to this node passage in a little bit. This is getting closer to the green. And this is still 26,000 seconds away. Counting down.
Let me check Orbit NFD again. See where we're at. Still 66,000 seconds away from periapsis. And our periapsis is still 427. We'll bring that down a little bit at the next uh, mid course correction. It's almost time for the mid course correction. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. And we're also almost perfectly lined up over here. Okay, we're gonna go back to real time. Let me check orbit MFD real quick. Periapsis 426. Okay, bring up the align plane. Now let's turn maneuver mode on. And we're gonna do a what should hopefully be the last mid-course correction. I'm going to change some outward and we just want to bring down the orbit a little bit. That should be fine just like that. Go with four. And on the plane change I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to make this adjustment until the needle spins. And that's not going the right way. Or maybe it is, we'll see. Let me reset this. Try the other direction. Yeah, that's the what we want. Okay, let me adjust this. Get a finer setting. Alright, well, Transex is confusing me again. That's not uncommon. But I know what we need to do here is just, since we're at the descending node, go normal plus, and we're going to burn until we got relative inclination down to zero. zero, but it should be better than it is now, obviously. Rotation translation. Hmm. Got it all the way to zero. If that holds, that'll be nice. Now, take a look at the periapsis. And with basic orbital mechanics, the way we're going to improve the periapsis is just Rotation. by going, we're going to do an inward burn, very, very small. E. okay that it does that because the very fact that it is spinning tells you exactly where you are. You know you're at the pole because otherwise it wouldn't be spinning. 
So the odd thing here that we're going to do is we're going to make, but as you make the burn, as it gets closer to zero, as your relative inclination gets closer to zero, this starts to quickly shift. It swings up very rapidly to this point, halfway point, and if you keep burning, it'll go the other direction. And that happens very rapidly once you get to near zero. The analogy that I kind of think of in my own mind is that it's almost like having a compass in your hand while standing on top of the north magnetic pole or a change so that this white line starts to spin and it might seem like an odd goal like why do I just want to add plane change until this just starts spinning and if you kind of use that compass analogy because once or while walking toward the north magnetic pole as you get over top of the north magnetic pole the compass just starts spinning because you know it doesn't basically know which direction to point anymore but it's actually